Uh, hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about uh, spanning tree in uh, DNS3. Uh, the reason why I made this video is uh, for you guys that want to work on uh, spanning tree, uh, I mean about layer 2 stuff, switches in DNS3. You have to keep in mind that uh, uh, there is not a lot of future about the spanning tree in DNS3. So, because you see up here I have uh, two routers that I used as switch, uh, switch 1 and switch 2. And if you see up here, I have two link between switch 1 and switch 2. Uh, usually one of those link should be blocked by spanning tree. Uh, so, uh, spanning tree, uh, VLAN 1, to confirm what I, what I was saying, VLAN 1, brief. So you see up here I have, uh, I have FA0 slash 2, yeah now I see it up here. It says FA0 slash 2 is a blocking port. And FA0 slash 0 is the forwarding port. So this is not the root bridge. So let's m let me go back up here to, uh, to switch. Uh, this is switch 1. So switch, uh, switch 2 should be the, I think, the root bridge, you know. So let me go to switch 2. And uh, uh, quickly, let's uh, uh, switch 2 up here. So uh, switch 2. You see up here, I, I make the, let me, let me do the, con, the, the show command again. So this is this terminal up here. So let me do show uh, spanning tree, VLAN 1, VLAN 1, uh, brief. So to get the detail information. You see, uh, this guy is the root bridge. You say the bridge, this bridge is the root. So this is the, this guy up here is the root bridge. And up here you see, they are, uh, both ports are forwarding port, so uh, spanning tree is uh, is fine up here. So uh, I have uh, I, sp I have spanning tree running fine on both switches, you know. So so the problem is I was trying in this video I'm trying to simulate a, sp a spanning tree loop. So I wanna I wanna see if there is gonna be a loop if I disable uh, spanning tree. So I'm gonna go on on uh, switch two, and I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna dis disable uh, I'm gonna disable uh, spanning tree. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna do no uh, spanning tree. Uh, uh, I think it's VLAN one. That's the only VLAN I have. Uh, spanning tree VLAN one, and uh, yeah, that's what that's what I need. The command I need. So spanning tree is disabled. If I go back to confirm that, let me do a show spanning tree VLAN brief. So it says uh, spanning tree instance for VLAN one does not exist. So let me go to switch uh, one and do the same thing up there. I'm gonna do conf t, and I'm gonna do a uh, spanning tree. Uh, no spanning tree. No spanning tree. VLAN one, and that's it. That's what I need. So uh, go and do the show command. Show. Uh, let me repeat the, the command again. Show spanning tree VLAN brief one. It says spanning tree instance does not exist. So I should have a loop up here. Uh, so I should have a loop. You know, you know, you, ha you have to to keep in mind that DNS tree is funky up here. You know, uh, because the problem is, you see the lights. Even when I when the, it, it was saying there, there is a blocking port up here, one of those uh, all those two lights were blinking. You know, switch two was the bridge, and switch one has the uh, one port that was black, but if you if you look at up here, they, all those lights were green. So uh, that's the that's the funny thing. But let me tell you something. So uh, uh, in order to uh, see if there is a loop, I'm gonna try to. Uh, I already do a configuration for for the IP addressing up here. I configure interface VLAN one up here. So uh, so let me let me go up here to switch one and show you something. I'm gonna do show IP interface brief just to show you. I have a configuration up here for interface VLAN one. That's what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, you see interface VLAN one. I have it up here. One ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one dot ten is up. You know, so I'm gonna try to send a ping up here on on switch uh, two. I have interface VLAN one configured up there too. So I'm gonna do a show IP no IP interface brief. 
take a look at the VLAN one, interface VLAN one. I have it up here, it's up and running. So I'm gonna ping from uh, from switch to, I'm gonna do ping 192.168.1.10. You know, to see if the ping is going. Uh, the ping is failing. <laughs> Because uh, I was thinking the thing is gonna go through, but you see, so uh, it may be a loop up here. You know, we don't we don't really see it up here. We, you know, using DNS, we, you cannot see it. But this thing is failing, and even though those two uh, those two interface are on the same network, you know, so there is a problem up here. So uh, I'm gonna do uh, a debug just to see uh, what's going on up here. Debug IP packet. And I'm going to send the thing again. Okay, what do you say? Let's let's the it say uh, show some as something. That let's uh, do a UR. UR. And uh, turn those uh, debug off. And you see, that's what you, you're gonna have, you guys. Uh, if you try to simulate a spending to it on DNS on DNS three. Yeah. So. Uh, let me see uh, 192 routed via the forwarding information based. And uh, there is a problem, I think, with routing up here, you know. Let's see if local packet, you know. So there is a problem. I think this is a spanning tree problem, you know. So that's what I was trying to show you guys in this video. So uh, you can uh, try to to play with uh, this topology that I have on this video, you know. So uh, if you wanna replicate the topology that I have up here in DNS3, you can use the 3600 router. That's what I do use up here. And I just change the icon for those uh, routers so, so they look like a switch. So in the configuration, I, I do trunking up here. I set up trunking. I configure uh, these, uh, these two uh, pieces as ra they routers, but I just change the icon. They are pieces. So uh, in this up here, I use a 7200 routers, and uh, what I do, I I go up here on this pieces and and I turn off uh, like routing, you know. I do no IP routing, and they are gonna act like pieces, you know. So uh, this guy up here, if I go to PC uh, PC one up here, you see PC one. Uh, I was trying to uh, let me show you the configuration I have on PC one. So IP for the interfaces, interface uh, brief. Okay, I have uh, on uh, FA0 slash 0, I assign this IP address 192.168.3.100. So it's gonna be on this same network, this, this guy up here. This guy is a layer three uh, interface, you know. I go to uh, FA0 slash one, I configure it as, uh, as, in, uh, as a layer three port. So is going to take an IP address and those two guys are on the same network. Those two guys, the same thing. So if you guys want to replicate this topology, just, uh, you know, or you can ask me a question on YouTube. So I will be glad to, to help you and answer all your questions. So I hope you guys uh, learned something from this video and I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you.